can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, uh, we've got a lot of things going on. So we're gonna head right now to the DMV. So the actual DMV is close. We're going to a quick DMV, which there's like a $65 fee to register your car, but it is what it is since all DMVs are closed. Only DMV I can get to. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down there, register my car. Hopefully everything goes through. Once everything goes through, I'm gonna go ahead and repair the windshield. So once we get the windshield replaced, we can drive that car down and hopefully pass Smosh. The goal of today is to literally get this car registered, new windshield to make it legal, and then get it smog to literally drive it legally on public roads. That's the goal. So hopefully this car it can handle all this. I guess we'll find out by the end of this video. All right, guys, we just made it down here to a quick DMV registration. Let's go ahead and go in there. Hope to God we can actually register this car. I'll get back to y'all in three, two, one. And just like that, I'm back in the car with unfortunately my same documents. They told me they cannot register a lean car sale here. Um, she did say I have everything I need to register a car, but uh, I don't have, I need to go to an actual DMV and all DMVs are closed. So she gave me a phone number. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a call and uh, see if I can do anything else today or if I just wait till this whole pandemic is over and then I can register the car, unfortunately. But it is what it is, I guess. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how I'm supposed to get registration. Thank you for calling the California Department of Motor Vehicles. Field offices are temporarily closed to the public statewide. All appointments at this time have been canceled and no appointments are currently available. Anywho, I'm gonna head down to get some Chipotle and then head down to the shop. I do have some schoolwork I gotta get done, but you guys won't see that on camera. Once I get done with my school meeting, the guy for the windshield should be coming over and then we can go from there. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait for that new windshield because once the new windshield gets on that car, it's gonna feel like a new car. You guys already know, I gotta get a picture for the gram. So uh, go ahead and just air out real quick. That looks sick. Oh my God. Okay, well I gotta get a picture for the gram now. And then get some Chipotle. Just got my Chipotle, remember, better safe than sorry, honestly. It's, it's not worth it. Like, just get the mask and stay safe. Let's head down to the shop. Finally just made it to the garage. You guys can see the 650i is just chilling like a villain. The guy with the windshield is coming over right now. The DMV just called me and there's not much they can really do about the situation. They said you literally have to wait till the pandemic is over before you can register the car. So I did ask them, is the documents I have enough to verify the car? And uh, they said, no, we're not really too sure if it's enough documents. So I'm honestly kind of skeptical, but I'm just gonna just pray to God that I'm good. Um, if you guys know about a whole lean sale thing, I have the lean sale document and I have the bill of sale from the, from the owner um, that claimed the vehicle. So if you guys know anything about that type of stuff, please let me know down below. That would mean the world. Just give me a peace of mind. I'm gonna continue to build this car up and uh, worst comes to worst, I will turn it into a track car if I cannot register it. Hey, what's going on, dude? Dude, look at the hat. Oh, Johnny McJohn. I think it's a BMW, damn. It's actually By crazy. the way, I discontinued them you discontinued already. Them because of the red? Because of the red. So guys, I, I this was supposed to be in white and this was supposed to be in red, but they flipped it. So I don't want any of you guys, you know, you know, getting the wrong orders and stuff. So I discontinued them already. I'm probably gonna relaunch them down the road. Yeah. Uh, but you are probably, you're only one of two people. Well, sorry to the other person who got it. But. Yeah, no, I think I think he didn't have that issue. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm just, just you. Really unlucky. <laughs> he got really unlucky. I think they ran out of white and they're like. Did you they tell figured, me what happened to this car? No. So what happened with this car? And by the way, guys, like I this. I just posted a video on it today, actually. So today on today, about, about the issue. Yeah, the issue. Oh, okay. At 10 so so, uh, pretty much the serpentine belt snapped again, and if you guys didn't know, it had already snapped previously. So now I think it's like a pulley. And so this car oh. is giving me a ton of problems. It like could be the point, honestly, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that makes a lot more sense. Is, but. Dude, all you have to do maintenance before everything. Like, I, you that's have what to. I've been doing, but it keeps maintenance things keep popping <laughs> up. Like every, I already did the serpentine belt, you know? He even did the transmission stuff, so that's kind of, like, that's crazy. Now it's like hurting me, but I'm not sure what the plans are for this car yet. Sure I know what the plans are for this car. I'm Anywho, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Jonathan. I just got here. He's about to head out. So uh, I'll talk to you in a little second and hopefully the windshield guy gets here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and lower the car so the guys can actually work on it. I'm not gonna tell him like, oh yeah, the lift's stuck up. You're gonna have to jump up there and replace the windshield. Imagine, I'm pretty sure he would just leave. So here's how the windshield looks right now. So you guys can see it's completely shot. The gaskets and the molding is just, you can even peel it off the windshield. Look at that. Like this, this windshield's a goner. So once we replace this whole windshield, um, it sh the car should look a lot more presentable. Um, the fender, as you guys know, was replaced. Uh, so far it's holding up pretty well, which I'm super happy about. The hood has been replaced as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this windshield replaced. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in time-lapse. Hopefully uh, we'll be good to go.
Just like that guys, after some time, the full windshield is installed. Brand new windshield with all the sensors. This has the fog sensor and the rain sensor. This is all installed, good to go. Brand new molding, so uh, I'm really happy about this. If you guys are in the North Highlands, Sacramento, or Citrus Heights area, um, go ahead and give this guy a call right here if you guys need your windshields replaced. He does a three series and the one series and, all, but, and a couple other models a lot cheaper. Just the six series is a lot more expensive, but he got me the best deal for the six series. I went with that. He's actually a father of one of, of one of you guys, so shout out to you guys for actually supporting and helping me get a windshield replacement. He gave me a really good deal, a deal I couldn't pass, and he did an immaculate job. Not to mention he was super quick. But moving on to the next thing. The next thing right now is the whole trunk situation. What I'm not understanding is why this trunk won't unlock with the switch from the inside of the car and the key. I don't think because of the, 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 the trunk itself latches shut and actually unlocks when you pull the emergency. If you pull this right here, it unlocks. I can hear it unlock, it shuts just fine. People are saying replace the latch. I don't think it's the latch when it operates perfectly. So I'm thinking it could be a fuse. So let's go ahead and see if it is, because if it is, that'd be super cool, super cheap. Cause that'd be super cool, you know, cost effective. So the fuse box on this car is underneath this. It's actually got like two fuse boxes in this car. It's right here. So I believe one of these are the corporate to why this trunk latch is not operating. And that's why we're using this janky little thing. Please, God, let it be a fuse. I'm gonna go ahead and look up online which fuse it could be. It looks like there's also, oh, actually, there's a fuse diagram right here. Damn, there's a fancy fuse diagram, which was six series. So looking at this, I think it's saying 55 and 61. That looks like a tailgate that's opening. So 55 is a 40 amp next to a five amp. I don't know if I have a 7.5. I'll go ahead and put a 10 and I'll go ahead and replace the 40. Hoping I got another 40. To be honest guys, those fuses looked good, so I don't think that is the corporate. Let me go ahead and check the fuse box in the inside of the car. and everything seems really good. I did realize something when I looked it up. So you guys know the, the reason this car didn't start was because of the key. The key was not programmed to the car. This is an aftermarket key. I don't know if you guys can see that on the bottom there. But as you guys can see that, that is an aftermarket key. So the first thing that struck me, I was like, is this key really aftermarket? It's not even engraved. It's definitely aftermarket. So what I'm starting to think is because that trunk lock works, I have a feeling if this key was actually working, I would be able to unlock the trunk manually. Plus, I looked up something how this car has the valet option. I don't know if you guys can see the valet key right there. Um, and it's missing the key. And that key over here, you're supposed to put it in here and lock and unlock the central locking of the car. So basically when you put the key in here and turn it, it basically, it locks both armrests and the trunk to where the valet cannot actually access the trunk or those two center consoles. And unfortunately, I think this car is locked. I think it is officially locked and I need to get a key made for this car to actually unlock all these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down to BMW or call a friend of mine and see if they can go ahead and engrave this key for me. I actually got a lot of schoolwork tonight, so I gotta head back. And I gotta send out some of you guys' orders today, so I gotta head back, ship out those orders. If you guys wanna support your boy, make sure to check out those links down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out some orders, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, but it's all gonna be in this video. So I'll see you guys in about three seconds. Mm, um, yeah, three, two, one. So here's the steering wheel guys, which I'll be showing you guys hopefully in the near future, which looks absolutely killer. We have some, uh, this is some maintenance pieces. I ordered so much maintenance for the 435 and so much maintenance for the 650i, mainly because I'm, I'm, I just really wanted to do maintenance now. Finally got the lifts up and running. Shout out to John and Devon. So now we can get the cars all the way up and just do maintenance super easy. So that's what I'm gonna be getting done. And then this is really funny. I spent $15 on this, check it out. I spent $15 on that. BMW uh, key emblem, which is really, really sad. But I really want the BMW ones because if you don't go with the BMW one, they're too, they're too like thick, and when you click it, it feels weird. So I know it just feels really bad. And then this is also some more maintenance for the 650i. So we're going to crack this open. So I went ahead and ordered an OEM BMW. So this one's used, but the guy said he put it in his car and he took it out after an accident. So basically, he said he only used this for about thousand to two thousand miles, and it's OEM BMW. So this is the oil level sensor. So you guys know this car is saying the oil is too high, so we'll be replacing that. And voila, look how sick that looks, guys. So basically, my oil filter housing gasket is leaking. So I went ahead and just upgraded it for better cooling, and at the same time, we have a gas 
gasket right here. So mods and maintenance at the same. You guys, this looks insane. There's gonna be see this from the front of the engine bay. We'll go ahead and make a separate video on this because obviously we're gonna do all the maintenance of the 435, hopefully in the near future. I went ahead and ordered so many things for the 435, including transmission stuff. So we wanna upgrade this thing. So when we tune the car, we're not gonna be messing anything up. We're gonna be hopefully driving it pretty reliably because thing is still gonna be tuned, but at least we don't blow something up. At least we realize I have one more box from Mishimoto. So let's check this out. Guys, this was on pre-order and I ordered this a long time ago, but it actually came in. So this is the blow off valve for the 435. If you guys thought the 435 has already a good swoosh sound, you haven't seen nothing yet. So this actually, I'm pretty sure goes onto the turbo itself. We'll make a, hopefully another video on this as well. It's gonna make the turbo sound so much better. My ideal goal for the 435 is to push around 400s. I know it said 500s. Like, I don't think that's apparently realistic if you don't upgrade the turbos or anything like that. Anything like that. So I wanna push 400. So anywho, look forward to those type of videos. I'm really excited for that. I forgot, I just wanna put that logo on the keys just so the key feels like it's a BMW key. Now this looks a lot more presentable and so does this. If you guys want this, check out links down below. And here we are guys at the end of the video. So I pretty much recorded a separate outro because I was working on another part of the car, but I'm gonna put that in a separate video uh, with the next video hopefully, mainly because there's a lot of things that happen in the next video and I kinda want it all together. We got a lot of things for both of our cars. I got a lot more packages in today so you guys will see that full maintenance on the 435, full maintenance on the 650i hopefully we'll be able to register this car i'm kind of skeptical about it because i don't really know how to you know register a lean car so i hope everything works out so if you guys know anything about that stuff please let me know down below but yeah without further ado guys smash that like button if we can get this video to 2500 likes i will upload tomorrow part two of the build series which is pretty much completing the front end of the car remember 2500 likes guys smash that like button without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble see you guys in the next one peace out